Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today is going to be an unimpressive match in my mutts. This tank has really become irrelevant to me since the Arietta Progetto got in my garage. Uh, the Progetto just does everything a little bit better gun handling wise. They're pretty on point with vision and mobility I believe. Um, the Arietta also has the auto reloader. There are a few games left in like my library with the lower bit rate and definitely can tell that this one is one of them so I apologize for that as they cycle through I'll keep an eye closer on that so that doesn't happen again um, but the point of this video is just to kind of bring up plus one minus one again and if you've seen the start of the match I was only tier 8 on my team the enemy team did have two tier 8's uh, we have one tier 9 and then the rest are tier 10s. And my plan on this map was to get to G1 um, because that's a important position, or not, maybe not important, as aggressive position that you can be very successful in. And as a tier 8, I figured that was the only way that I'd outspot my tier 10 medium tanks since there are no scouts. And I was going to rush down there, but then I decided that's pretty stupid. I could definitely just get wiped off the map in a second in a tier 10 match in my mutts. So I decided to stop at the bush, get some spots, and then my tier 10s caught up to me and pretty much took over spotting duties. Get a shot into my counterpart, their tier 8 Centennial over there, light him on fire. And talking about plus one, minus one, I haven't heard any news of what came of it. So that's kind of disappointing. Not to say that they aren't working on it, because I don't work at Wargaming, so I'm not 100% sure what they do with that information. Uh, there are definitely pros and cons to the plus one, minus one, but I think the pros outweigh the cons. Uh, just some quick ones that I can think of for cons because that's the minimal aspect of it. You're gonna lose some medals. There's definitely gonna be some medals that you aren't going to be able, able to achieve, which I get one of them in this match. Uh, there's gonna be less experience to be had just because when you do damage to a tank that's two tiers higher than you, it is a lot more damage than when you do damage to a tank that's lesser equal or one tier higher than you uh, so the epic XP damage games while you're two tiers down just won't be relevant anymore or won't be achievable I guess is a better word and those two are probably pretty minuscule but the biggest thing for me is just learning tactics in this game and to be able to learn how to play this game when you're two tiers down and be successful at it is definitely something that new players would never be able to accomplish if there was plus one minus one. However, the other side of it, it is very terrible to be put in this matchmaker and then your tier 10s do absolutely nothing. Uh, or they try, but their plan fails just because the opposing team's plan was much better. And here, my team just steamrolls through the 1 2 line, and their 10s worked up the 8 9 0, but we had te teammates defending. So, did I have a huge impact in a tier 8, two tiers down? No, I, I didn't. I didn't feel like I had a great game either. Um, but you'll see that the experience earned is just not going to be achievable in a plus one, minus one setting. Uh, however, when it is plus one, minus one, you can carry more. So the ability to get more XP by actually doing more will be there but as new players learn the game it's just going to be 
a learning curve. I think the curve will be will be steeper. So just my two cents. Kind of wanted to bring that up again and just show off some crappy matchmaking where I take top dog in a 10 match with 1700 damage. That's, that's what I do in my mods. So, comment below. I know this video is way too short for me to talk more in depth on pros and cons of plus one, minus one, or, and then I guess that change that potentially may happen or may not. I'm not sure where they're at on that. Um, but yeah, comment below the pros and cons. I guess I'd like to put together a list and maybe have a follow up video. And talk more in depth on it if that's something that you guys want me to do, or maybe even send off to war gaming um, devs that I can talk to. All right, I'll quit babbling. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.